Hey YouTube, Hackers here, and I've got lots of mods to show you tonight. I've got about four or five different mods. So I don't know what truck selected, so whatever one is selected, I will go with it first. I haven't got a clue, I've like, only just booted the profile. I will learn. Um, I'll try to do some in-game truck reviews, like stock truck reviews, like ID codes. I quite like them. Um, they've put brand new computers on the ID code highways in. Um, um, other cool things on ID codes. Notice though, it's not frozen today because I've disabled some old mods that I didn't need. All oh, right. This is um this is the Renault Radiance. It um doesn't have to have the ball bar or the beacon on. I put them on. You um I'll show you where you get it from and show you the customization options. Obviously it comes from the Renault dealer. Um if you want it to work from a small if you want this one to work, you have to get rid of the Hackswell mod that I told you about. So I've actually dumped the Hackswell mod. To get this, but um, it's not the um, it looks a bit odd. But needs moss. So if you go to your small dealer, see those Renaults? That's a, the premiums. That's another mod. I got you, but that is um that's it in the dealer, it's hundred grand. Place of the Renault Magnum. Four hundred and eighty horsepowers. Um one cabin, one chassis, five hundred and twenty horsepower Euro five engine, Tardy gearbox. Interior is virtually the same. Apart from the look on um excellence uh look you see um there how there's no sat nav but right, if you click on the radiance interior you get a sat nav so you have no sat nav or sat nav so that is like your normal in truck sat nav is quite awesome. Colours roughly the same. I mean you get yeah you graphite which is represented by that horrible manky poo colour. And then you get the twenty four thousand pound Route sixty six edition which is just pure black. I recommend just keeping it in the if you're buying this as a as a work truck, I recommend keeping the manky horrible colour and just going to the paint shop. But we're just going to go with black because we've got we can afford it. Um, roof, you've got your beacon. Now this is where things get dodgy because it's a mod. It, um, the shop doesn't really work with it. Um, look, it's like you have a roof bar and you can't see it actually inbuilt into the top of the truck so I generally don't do roof racks with this or front bars. Unless it's a very little front mount. I could have that but something like that or that is fine. But if it's something like um some of them, like um, this vortex, they go in. Some of them have gone in on me. So I can't really be bothered to put one of those on. But it's got your, your standard customization options. So I'm going to buy it. Take 
first time I'm not stuck. Um, I'll send my original Reno Radiant, the one that I was um, testing earlier on. I'm running out of space here. Yeah, I'm running out of space. Send it to Cassel. Stick the old one in Cassel. Alright, so this is the new truck that we've just bought. Yeah, um, I'll give you a tip. Um, when that silly um, welcome to your new truck screen comes on, if you just click escape, it gets rid of it. Look, look, you can see him. I've got a couple of glitches. Looks kind of weird. But, um, ditch the root advisor. You still get the Renault interior apart from the sat now that's the only thing different still says route 66 on the seats but these are actually three seaters four there's a seat there and then right behind me there's another seat like one to get steering camera oh you can't fix the tint for the four seaters so you can um, have people sat there or at night if there's two of you you can sit on the chairs Well, I should park it here and overview it. I mean, the front of it isn't the prettiest. I mean, it's very modern, very aerodynamic. It's just not the prettiest thing anybody's ever seen. I mean, that back doesn't look too bad, but that full side skirt really makes it down a bit, I think. And the engines, they overstress. They sound like they overstress when you rev them, I mean. That sounds far too overstressed. That's another mod I've got to show you, that one that we've just gone past. But um, SES Software, who make this game, they didn't like download sound effects for when you crash. They um, they actually went to a test track somewhere and um, crashed some cars into one another. Well, it fits under the garage door. I um, I do have a mod that lets you open all the garage doors, but that's quite cool, but I don't have it enabled because it's just something else to get in the way. I think I can handbrake turn here. Oh dear. That's one thing that's always puzzled me. Where's the handbrake in a run out? I um I have a scan your garage mod and you get like a truck tipping rubbish and scan your parks everywhere, it's rather tight. And because I don't know what I'll be testing, I don't have that enabled either. So oh dear, I can't even go into the garage how bad am I? It is well went through the wall. They sound a bit overstressed, don't they? Put your leave your comment, leave your um, your opinion in the comments of what this truck looks like. So that is the Renault Radiance, it's all tinted, it isn't the nicest looking truck. Thanks for watching and we hope you made your day a better day.